Hey everybody, so I got a new frame in for review today. It's called the Airblade Assault 130, and it's by this uh, relatively new company uh, called uh, Airblade UAV. They're up in uh, Vancouver, Canada. Um, it's a very tiny frame, it's only 130 millimeters uh, motor to motor. And uh, it's, uh, let me show you down a ruler here. It's actually just a touch over 130 millimeters. It's about 132 millimeters across. So very small, uh, it's 3K carbon fiber, three millimeter main plate. And the top plate is one millimeter. And uh, the, the frame doesn't come with these. Uh, they're called shields. These like the red and blue ones here. This one uh, is like a basically it, it protects all of the components inside. This is uh, an accessory you can buy for this frame, which is pretty cool. So it looks like that. And uh, Comes with uh, standoff screws and parts and hardware you need to, to build the frame, of course. So let's put this frame together and see what it looks like assembled. We'll get it weighed and I'll talk about it a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly put this together and see what it looks like fully assembled. Just the frame, of course, no, no electronics. Okay, so this is a, what the frame looks like with just the standoffs alone and, and not obviously using uh, the shield here. We'll put that on in a second. Uh, it just comes with three standoffs. They're, well, I believe, 20 millimeters. Let me just double check that. Yes, they're 20 millimeter uh, standoffs and they're nylon. These are steel screws or probably aluminum or steel. Um, a lot of space inside here, relatively speaking, considering it's only a 130 millimeter frame. And uh, just to compare to my ZMR160, I'll bring that in here. Of course, this is um, a fully assembled ZMR160. And you can see the size difference here. And uh, look at from below, looks like that. It's on top of each other like this. And yes, this is uh, quite, a bit, quite a bit smaller here. Um, than the 160 size, obviously. Let's see how much this weighs for a good scale. So, so the frame uh, with just the uh, top plate, main plate, and the standoffs is 29 grams. Uh, obviously it doesn't include any electronics and some of these other parts here which are for mounting the uh, flight controller, um, PDB, etc. Uh, so I'm going to uh, ins install this uh, shield and see how much uh, additional weight that brings uh, this up to. Okay, so here's what it looks like with the shield installed. And I believe these are just a little bit taller than the one on the standoff here. So if you look at the standoff here and the shield, the shield is, it does make the top plate rise up a little bit higher. So perhaps um, we'll give you a little bit more room for components inside. Let's see how much, probably 25 millimeters. I just get a ruler here and take a look. Yes, uh, the shield is 25 millimeters tall. So here's what it looks like. It's a it's a 3D printed. It's not molded plastic. So 
um, but it's still pretty solid. And uh, I gotta say, you know, this uh, this carbon fiber feels really nice. I uh, I've built a lot of these, you know, micro quads and other mini quads um, that have like you know high quality 3K carbon fiber, but the the way that the I guess the carbon fiber is cut from the the the, the sheets of carbon fiber. There's a lot of jaggies on the edges of where the um, the arms are cut out. Um, very rough and sharp. Sometimes uh, you look at carbon fiber splinters, which is a real bummer because uh, those are itchy and hard to take out. Um, but this is quite nice. Very smooth. Uh, pretty good finish all around. I'm pretty impressed. I like it a lot. Let's see how much this weighs. Okay, with the uh, shield installed, uh, the weight goes up from 29 grams up to 37 grams, so uh, 36, 37, not too bad. Very slight increase in in weight for quite a bit of protection, I, I would say. Um, your camera is coming out over here, but a lot of your electronics are going to be um, protected, probably from uh, you know like dirt or grass rocks. Um, obviously there's some space here for the ESC wires and other wires to go through, but overall looks really nice. Pretty impressed. So I'm definitely going to get this built up uh, pretty soon. So be uh, on the lookout for more videos on this frame. I'm going to be getting some electronics for this. Um, I'll get the rest of these parts together. And I'll have a build video and probably a fairly detailed multi-part build video because uh, this uh, frame is quite a bit smaller than the ZMR160. Um, I can already tell, you know, uh, just from the spacing of the screw holes right here for the flight controller, uh, space is going to be uh, a premium in here and will probably require a little bit of uh, some alterations in the build techniques. Um, and uh, you'll learn those as I come along, as I, uh, I'll video, the, uh, video uh, that as I build it, and uh, you'll, you'll learn as I, as I, as I learn. Because um, uh, this is the first time I've ever built anything this small, so I'm sure I'm going to run into some challenges and some issues, and we'll find out what those are in the coming videos. So stay tuned to my channel, subscribe, and like, and uh, I will talk to you guys next time.